Say hello to the camera. Hello, my good sir. Optiploy 1.2 has released, and with it comes three cool new features. One, its functionality has extended past itself and can now be used with Blender's asset libraries. Kind of. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say, for example, I link a collection through the asset libraries. I can't use it because it's linked. Well, in the object menu in the 3D viewport, you can use the optimize with Optiploy operator. And look at that. Meanwhile, everything else is still linked back to the source file with library overrides. It's also possible to do this thing in the outliner. Right click on an ID, optimize with Optiploy. If you would like to use the asset library instead of Optiploy's spawning menu, now you can. Two, you can now add categories in the folder entries. Hold shift, click on the plus button, and you have a category. For the sake of organization, categories allow you to add blend files from different folders, so you don't have to lump them all together here. Let's do portal props. Two different folders. Three, you can now incorporate key modifiers into your scripts. In this simple script here, I'm accessing the object that will be spawned, and then I am setting its color attribute, depending if Control, Shift, or Alt is being pressed. I have the script save as a custom property. Okay, let's spawn it. Now, theoretically, if I spawn it without pressing anything, it should just be black. And it is. Hold Control, Hold Shift, Hold Alt, uh, many colors. I'm sure someone could find good use out of that. Anyways, that's it. Cool update, if I say so myself. Goodbye.